You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Elevation. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Elevation is a 2024 action thriller directed by George Nolfi, starring Anthony Mackie and Morena Baccarin. A single father gets desperate to save his son's life and thus must venture into danger, leaving behind his home with two other women from the refuge below the line of safety monstrous creatures so i was able to view elevation before its november 8th release at the 2024 denver film festival as a special presentation with both george nolfi and anthony mackie on hand to present the film and it's extra special because they premiered the film here at the Denver Film Festival because the film was primarily shot and takes place in Colorado. So it's really special getting to experience a Colorado shot film here at the festival with the star and the director on hand, an audience full of Coloradans. And honestly, that was my main reasoning on why I had to see Elevation here at the festival tonight. Otherwise, I had seen the trailer just once in theaters prior to the announcement that it would be showing here at Denver Film Festival. And it looked fun. It looked like a cool sci-fi movie that I might be interested in. But it also didn't look like anything special. Not something for a film festival, certainly, without the added extra context. Without that added extra context. And ultimately, I feel like Elevation is a fun enough, good sci-fi thriller. Though admittedly, it does feel a bit reductive. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the positives first. Well, I have to get this one out of the way. As a Colorado native, as somebody who lives here and doesn't get to see actual shot in Colorado moments on screen very often, on a personal level, it was awesome getting to recognize the areas. I knew where they were. I had visited the mountain. I had visited the places that they were at many a time before. And it was a whole lot of fun getting to see a film based in Denver or Colorado actually shot in Colorado. Not to mention getting to experience it with this crowd specifically definitely enhanced my enjoyment of the film. They were enthusiastic. They were cheering at the screen. They were reacting, not in an over-the-top or ridiculous way that distracts from the movie, but like genuine fun reactions that created this amazing electric atmosphere to view the film in. So the viewing experience for my specific showing was perfect for watching Elevation. Now that that's out of the way, I also think it is an effective enough thriller. It is a fun movie to watch. The action set pieces are fun. George Nolfi talked a little bit about one specifically that takes place on a ski lift that was actually really cool. We have one inside of a mine that's a lot of fun. It's only an hour and 30 minutes like on the dot. So it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's kind of a lean, fun, creature thriller. I also think the performances are really solid. Anthony Mackie is great. He's great in this type of role, and he delivers once more. However, for me, the all-star, the scene stiller is Miranda Bachran. I actually thought she was very, very good in this film. She has a lot more of the emotional heavy lifting to do with the film, plus her humor nailed it. I loved her character just overall, the depth that they bring to her. Miranda Bachran was fantastic. The sound design was quite good as well. Kind of like other films that it is similar to. Getting that sound design right for the creatures is really important. And getting the kind of feel of the creatures down is really important. And a lot of that does come down to their vocalizations and the way they move and the sounds they make when they move. And that all was very effective. So then what doesn't work so well when it comes to elevation? 
Well, I mentioned that it's a derivative, and I think it just kind of falters based on the fact that we've had these type of creature movies previously and in succession of each other, whether it be A Quiet Place or Bird Box, it has that same kind of feel to it. Now, obviously, the premise is different, but each of them does give us kind of a different premise, right? Whether it be can't see, can't talk, this one is have to stay above 8,000 feet. But it kind of just falls victim to the fact that it does feel quite similar to those films with these creatures hunting humans in that type of fashion. And unfortunately... It's not as good either. Just from an overall quality standpoint, it doesn't have the great aspects of any of the Quiet Place movies. I don't think it's quite as good as Bird Box either. Unfortunately, you can definitely see the budget at times here. So while it's great that we shot on location, I thought the cinematography was actually fantastic. The locales were gorgeous. When it came to the monsters... Suddenly, that budget was on full display. <laughs> I thought the design was interesting, though not necessarily my favorite. The CG on them, however, mm, questionable for the majority of the time they're actually on screen. I actually think it might have been more wise to keep the creatures hidden for longer so that you could save some of that budget and render through the monsters when they do appear just a bit more. And the story, it is, once again, quite familiar. We've seen this kind of story done millions of times. A parent wants to save their kids, so they have to go into danger to do so. But moreover, they kept it a mystery. There is mystery going on here with the creatures themselves. We don't know a lot about them, really, throughout the film. And while that is very much intentional, as we learn near the end of the film... It leaves the film moving through this journey, dealing with these creatures without rules. So unlike something like A Quiet Place, where it's a very simple premise for these monsters, it's all sonic. This film, it heavily does... In this film, we talk a lot about CO2, and they're able to really track you by CO2, but it also seems like they can hear and see... So you don't really know how they're finding you other than CO2 levels. But they also only hunt humans. And, well, pretty much every living thing on planet Earth gives off CO2. A lot. CO2 is just in so much abundance that tracking something on planet Earth based on CO2 just on a base level seems ridiculous to me. And if that's how they track you, it seems like we should easily be able to come up with things that distract them away from us using CO2. So it left you kind of feeling like, what is it that I'm supposed to be tense about? Because I don't know what or why or how with these monsters. And I think they needed to give us bits more of information, one, earlier in the film, but two, we just needed more information across the board. Basically, I like to have rules. Do what you want, but give me rules to play within. But overall, I found Elevation to be a perfectly harmless, fun thriller. I had a good time watching it. It's certainly not a great film. It's a good time with a couple of really strong performances, some really fun set pieces. Though I do feel this is probably left best for streaming. Really, it feels like it could have gone straight to streaming, if we're being honest. But if you, like me, are in Colorado, I say you have to check this out in a movie theater. It's such a fun experience. I think you'll get a kick out of watching it on the big screen. Otherwise, yeah, the streaming option is probably the way to go. But if you do check out Elevation, make sure to stay through to the mid-credits because there actually is a mid credit stinger. So, wait to check that out. So that is my review for... Elevation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Elevation? Let me know all of your thoughts, either in that comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Mwah. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!